Hello Aquarius, thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another quick love reading for you all. This is going to be different from the last few readings. It's not an energy read, so I'm going to do love um, kind of the same. What you're feeling for your person, what your person's feeling towards you, and the mutual energy between you both. However, it's not going to go into um, crazy in depth because I want to make these quick and then hopefully tonight or tomorrow I'll do the long energy, the deep readings, okay? I wanted to do readings for all signs with this deck because I am doing a giveaway um, with the Star Spinner Tarot deck. It is the LGBTQ um, deck in honor of Pride Month for you all. So if you want to be entered in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, the link is below in the description, and hashtag on the video, any video in this channel, hashtag Virgo Empress, <clears throat> and you'll automatically be entered, okay? Hopefully Saturday or Sunday, I'll be able to pick a winner and then I can ship it out on Monday. So only if you're interested, let's go ahead and get started, Aquarius. Oops. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. Let's see what's going on. It's very important it's to remember that this is a general read, so um, they're not telling me to take that one. This is general, so um, it will not resonate with all Aquarians out there. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, it's simply not your story. It's very important not to force it if it's not, okay? Ooh, Aquarius, y'all have been having some really uh, deep reads, so I'm curious to see what's going on. Let's see. Oh, I have the chills already. I have the chills on these two cards. I don't know if y'all can see. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. And if you're new here, when I get the chills, I, I know it's like something that my spirit guides want me to tell y'all. So the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is the overall energy, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Let me fix this for y'all. There we go. Okay. Read this as your person. Read this as your Aquarius. Rules can always be reversed. Go ahead and flip it as need be. For your person, <clears throat> they have the Knight of Coins, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the King of Pentacles, King of Coins, and the Hierophant. Ooh, I have the chills. This person, Aquarius, that you're dealing with, I think, um, and I think this has kind of been the theme for y'all, for the past few readings at least. Under the deck, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Somebody is like having trouble moving forward. Either having trouble moving forward or having trouble moving on. They're not being... All right, I'll show you guys. I'm getting a weird story here. Okay, Aquarius. So they have the <clears throat> Knight of Coins and the Queen of Swords. I think this person might kind of play two sides or play two roles here with you, Aquarius, okay? You could be dealing, there's Strong Earth, there's Taurus, um, Capricorn. Yeah, there's Taurus, Capricorn. Strong Capricorn, a Leo. Okay, let's see what's going on. I think your person plays both sides. It's like they're already in a situation is what I feel. I feel like this person that you're with or, or, or have your eye on or has their eye on you is already in a situation. You see how they're sitting here with their flowers that like they're not watering their flowers and they're sitting here wondering oh you know i would like it looks like the grass is greener on the other side the grass is greener on the other side but it's because this person's not paying attention to what they have already okay and i think that they're they're like oh, you know i wish i had an opportunity elsewhere or i have so much to give elsewhere like they think that it's just like they think their their home life sucks and they're thinking like everything looks better on the outside you know what i mean you see how there's that wall it's like they're not watering their own grass they're judging theirs compared to others and i think that if they're dealing with someone or if they're already married which is what i'm getting i think that they're married already they tell people how unbearable it is to live with their spouse the queen of swords that could be a male that can be a female okay it's whoever has that feminine energy but they're telling people, I think, like, oh, my my spouse is a total 
a-hole pretty much is a total douchebag is a total b you know they're making it seem like their person is just unbearable to live with or to talk to or to be with but it, i think it's because they've drove this person upside down you see how this looks like a little walkway like there's flowers like these little flowers there's flowers here and there's the walkway and as soon as they enter it's this person and it's like they've turned this person upside down and then wonder why this person treats them or doesn't trust them the way that they do why these flowers are slowly dying why this lover connection is slowly dying but over there in their head they're like Ugh, i just can't deal with it i want to go somewhere else you know and i think you're kind of seeing that aquarius i think you're kind of seeing it okay that this person plays both sides because when they're home they act like the man of the house or they act like the woman of the house king of pentacles this is long term long lasting on top of your finances really on top of the home in charge right the hierophant this means marriage look at two keys this person is playing both sides this person goes to goes home and then may have keys to your home and and, and go visit you at your home or something you know what i mean he's even holding up two He's even holding up to this person goes back and forth, I think, between you and their spouse or someone that they've been with for quite some time already. You see how he looks mad to be at home? King of Pentacles is someone who's involved in a long-lasting commitment. This is a hierophant. This is marriage. This is marriage. But he looks mad to be at home, right? Look, at there's his castle, and he looks mad being there like frustrated like oh, i have to put on this crown something about white roses white roses mean rebirth or transformation or death right and that's what it is oh that's what it is they're like oh, you know i'm sick of these dead flowers i have to force to be i force myself to put on this crown but i really i want roses on the outside you know or something roses look nice on the outside it's like this person doesn't like being committed to whoever they're with right now. But look, he's holding up two with two keys. I think this person goes back and forth between you and whoever they've been with, Aquarius. I think that's what this is. Look, at even on the overall energy of the Wheel of Fortune, there's two people. There's two people. When do you see two people in the Wheel of Fortune? Like this person can't decide or something. This person can't decide. Now let me show you the under energy, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, which is Wheel of Fate, followed by the Queen of Pentacles. So this is someone, it's like this person loves this person so much. Look at how she just scooped up the little rabbit. She Oh, look, and then she has those same roses on her dress. It's like this person's at home, but they're, they're thinking about you, Aquarius, or something like that. Like they're at home, but they're thinking about you and they think about how well you take care of them and coddle them and baby them. Or if this is their spouse or someone that they've already dealt with, it's like this person loves them to death, but they're still not happy. Look at that. The four of wands. It's like that's the marriage. Whoever that they're married to or, or whoever wants to marry them or something loves them to death and doesn't want to lose them but they cause this person so many disappointments and i think they cause you a lot of disappointments as well because you're stuck waiting aquarius to see where this connection is going i don't know if you know that there there may be someone that they deal with or have been dealing with or something like that or maybe you do know or maybe you don't know maybe this is you aquarius and this is a person okay um in your energy though you have the two of coins so there is some juggling and there's some indecisiveness going on oh i got the chills there's something about a hospital gown oh i got the chills so bad oh i have the chills there's something about somebody juggling there's somebody juggling or there's someone very indecisive you guys my chills have not gone down like i'm kind of freaking out um Oh, I have the chills. I can't get over it. 
Um, there's somebody that's juggling Aquarius and maybe you, maybe someone in your energy, but there's someone here very indecisive because maybe it's, you know, this person may be juggling. Okay. Maybe, you know, this person comes around solely to be promiscuous or for intimacy. Like that's how this person ties down their people. You know what I mean? Like they come put it down and then they're locked in and ready. This person might be very attractive with the devil card. It's like, that can be obsession, but look at all these chains. Look at all these chains, and then look at these two people. There's two people that they're juggling. They're like this person is telling you, Aquarius, that you don't have nothing to worry about. You're like, I'm yours. And they're like tying you down, locking you down. And then over here, they're telling this other person on this side, I'm only yours. Relax. I'm, so they could tie them down and keep them bound. You know what I mean? It's weird. And when they feel like they're losing their hold on you, look at his finger. It's like, come on, come on. This person uses sex for something or intimacy for something to get their way or to manipulate people. There's something about the color red. Definitely something about the color red. I'm very drawn to this, this, and the hair. Ooh, I have the chills. With this King of Chalices and the Seven of Swords, this person likes to... This person's just a man-eater or a woman-eater, okay? A man-eater or a womanizer or something. Ooh, chills, chills, chills. With that King of Cups... But he's a dragon and it looks scary. With that seven of swords, they take advantage of the people that they know have a soft spot for them. King of cups, yes, you love me, I love you too. But there's that deception card. Haha, ha, it's just words, I don't really mean it. You know what I mean? Because swords are communication. And this is the card of deception, deceit, cheating, lying, sneaky, whatever you want it to be. That's deceptive, that's this card, okay? But look, it's like swords are communication. And they're like, I'll say what I have to say. I'll throw all the words you want at you. Believe me. You know what I mean? Like, this is who they are. But underneath that, that's what, that's what they are, okay? And I think you're starting to kind of see that, that this person's juggling and this person's insincere or ingenuine. Look, it, it's like they have like, I don't know why that looks so evil to me. That king of cubs is supposed to be a romantic guy, like a very loving, emotional guy true like that gives his true unconditional love doesn't it look like he's like a snake though like look at the little tail and then look at that there's something i don't know there's something weird like there's a look or a a mustache or eyes or something that gives it off like it gives off that it's not very sincere or not very loving or kind there's something about this person and it's like haha I'll tell you what you want. Like, there's even a ball in its mouth. I, I'll, I'll tell you what you want, but I'm going to bite my tongue on what I really think or what I really say or something. Ooh, I don't know. And then in the mutual energy, you have the Ten of Wands in reverse with the Sun in reverse and the King of Swords. This person's... I think you're getting ready to drop this burden of, of being this of being disappointed by this person because you're starting to see this person's very shady and and a douche if I'm being honest like the king of swords in reverse is the worst king to get in reverse this is a liar this is violence this is domestic violence this is abusive this is dishonest distrustful disloyal aggressive an aggressor it's like they're one way in public it's like they're one way in public you see that but they're a nightmare to be with at home the roles flip at home but but in the public eye they're so 
cunning and, and handsome or beautiful and smart and, and nurturing but look at behind closed doors i always tell people you don't know what happens behind closed doors that's why i tell people don't ever get involved in someone's relationship i had just posted something on my snapchat about that because you don't know what happens behind closed doors you don't know if this person's gonna go home and do something stupid right um but i feel look at it's like there's the sun and then it's dark right the sun upright is happiness happiness um joy whatever it may be when it's in reverse it's dark it's shady it's things being hidden and look at this card sun in front of public right real nice real loving beautiful caring charismatic but at home dark shady and a nightmare and aggressive and i think that you're starting to see this person for who they are and what they are and you're not watering those weeds anymore you're gonna pull those weeds out you're picking out the weeds that you don't want anymore you're weeding this person out that's what it is you're dropping that burden and weeding it out because you're tired of watering something that's getting you entangled entanglements that's getting you into entanglements with other people and you're sick of it you're tired of it and it could be that it's damaging to your inner child here or it could be that this is an inner child issue that you're trying to heal through this person there's something about nightgowns i keep seeing like a hospital gown or a nightgown or like pajamas maybe you try to stick it out or this person sneaks out when everyone's asleep or something i don't know there's something weird let's get some moon messages for you remember if you want to be entered to um win this deck all you have to do is hashtag comment hashtag virgo empress in any of my videos subscribe to the channel please like and subscribe if you haven't already i would greatly appreciate it and follow me on instagram the link is below as well as i am open for personal readings y'all again i'm so excited it's been a couple months since i've done some so i got my energy back up i'm open you guys can book on my etsy or you can book through my email etsy is probably better because sometimes i get so slammed with emails and i go from the bottom up so it takes a while oh some of y'all didn't like that i don't know if you guys if you can hear my dog she's like uh you know but <laughs> if you want to book, I'm open, y'all. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, I have Cash App, PayPal, and my Amazon wish list. If you guys want to donate a deck, I would greatly appreciate it. And the decks that y'all donate to me usually become my favorites anyways. So um, I do love when y'all send me anything. Let's see. Um, my memberships, my podcast, everything is in the description below, okay? show me moon messages oh ooh, ooh, as well as my deck you guys can purchase it these are mine um personal ones that i've created myself okay you can purchase them directly from me or directly from the vendor show me um i almost said capricorn and i almost said cancer so let's show me um aquarius's moon messages scorned lover slash bitter ex i'm thinking that this person is dealing or did put you in a third party situation rebirth or transformation there's something here that you're kind of noticing oh look with the white eyes look it's like you're you're noticing it for yourself now aquarius like you may have kind of had those feelings or whatever but now you're noticing it for yourself okay that this person is not doing you right they're doing you dirty and it could be that it could be that you know about this person juggling or you found out about this person juggling look underneath the deck pants on fire this person is lying you found out that this person is not truthful and that's exactly what that king of swords is that could be a female or a male okay let's see give me mutual tunnel vision okay yeah you you don't care about it anymore. You're not listening anymore. You don't, you can't be easily astray from what you already are seeing for yourself and witnessing firsthand. You're not listening to excuses. You're not listening to how they try to justify it. You know, you know what it is. You see it for what it is now. Yeah, look, eye on the prize. You see it for what it is. And if you want to like get this person out of your 
peripheral vision, you're just staying in your lane. You know what I mean? Give me for their person. Chaos or destruction. You know who just had this? Cancer, I think. Cancer had this. This person causes chaos and destruction. And it, it's like everyone in their path is getting it or something like that. This person's going through karma. And if you're around this person, you're, you're reeking in that karma as well. Yeah, look, generational curse slash childhood trauma. This person hasn't learned how to heal their inner child or how to heal themselves or feel content with themselves. And then we have soul food and then we have empty bottle. This person, this person over here just indulges in whatever makes them happy for the moment, okay? They indulge in whatever they can to feed themselves to feel that. To feed their ego. They feed their ego because they don't know how to show emotion, how to give love, how to receive love, okay? Like it's empty. So they overindulge trying to feel that um, that fullness, you know what I mean? And it's still not making them happy. And it won't make them happy until they heal themselves. Ooh, underneath the deck we have money slash finances. This is very, very similar to cancer. If you have cancer in your chart or dealing with a cancer, go check it out malicious or ill intentions okay so just be careful with that um be sure that this person's not coming back for money or this person might tell you that they stay with another person just for money look underneath that we have a charmer they're very charming what did i say in in their front face is real pretty but behind closed doors they're a monster charmer underneath that lust okay it could be that this person it just goes where the wind takes them. You know what I mean? Like I said, they do whatever they can to fill up to feed their ego. And they're telling you, be careful. Take caution. Take caution with this person. Because, ooh, because there's news, illusion, slash revenge, okay? Just be careful that this person isn't coming back just to get back at their person or something like that, all right? But that is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love y'all so much, and I will talk to you soon.